to talk about Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox, Shakira and her husband, and basically why these dumb men cheat on people like Selena Gomez and Shakira and Megan Fox. Like it just doesn't make any sense, right? another coffee morning vlog. Let's get into it. So, you guys are doing well. If you guys are returning back, hashtag Ellie's Army. Love you guys. If you guys are new and you don't know me, my name is Ellie Arquette. I'm the founder of Ellie Arquette Cosmetics. And on this channel, I like to sit down, do my makeup and chit chat and gossip at the same time. If you guys like content like that, please subscribe, share and like and be a part of our tribe, Ellie's Army. So um, I, by the way, all the products that you guys will be seeing me use, 90% are my own. I have my own vegan, cruelty-free, organic makeup and skincare, and that's why I always look gorgeous because my products are amazing, 100% organic, cruelty-free, organic, vegan, amazing. It's always going to be on in the description box down below on the screen so then you know exactly what I'm using. Today, I want to talk about Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox, Shakira and her husband, and basically why these dumb men cheat on people like Selena Gomez and Shakira and Megan Fox. Like it just doesn't make any sense, right? Literally blows my mind, literally blows my mind. But we're gonna talk about the psychology and spirituality aspect of it and just like the biological nature of it all. I was on TikTok this morning, like six o'clock in the morning and it's going viral right now, basically. So we just saw Machine Gun Kelly and, Meg and Megan Fox, right? I was gonna say Megan Markle. We just saw them, right? And Anyways, there's this all this drama that's going on that apparently Megan Fox unfollowed Machine Gun Kelly, deleted all the photos, and then started following Eminem. <laughs> First of all, before I even get into this mess, I want to tell you guys how spiritual and psychic Megan Fox is. Megan Fox, she's really beautiful, right? But she's also super super psychic she's totally into like tarot reading and spirituality and astrology and um she uh, she's psychic she's like full-on psychic very very spiritual and um so already she has that going on for her now she is a taurus like her son is in taurus also machine gun kelly he's a taurus as well they're both taurus they're twin flames I always tell you guys how toxic the twin flame shit is. Like it's just toxic as, as if, right? Both Tauruses, but he has, I think, Pisces in his chart and Gemini in his chart. Um, and Megan has Leo in her chart. I think she's Leo Moon. Now, I know for a fact, because I'm an Aries with Leo rising and Scorpio Moon, when I was with somebody and they cheated on me, the ego part of the leo in my chart was like what i don't know what like how could you how dare you like i'm amazing why would you want anybody else it's the Le it's it's the leo the leo in your chart makes you very like arrogant and like egotistical like how could you find anybody better than me ironically same thing's happening with shakira shakira is doing the same thing even though she's an aquarius i wonder if Shakira has Leo in her chart. Let me know in the comment box down below if Shakira has Leo in her chart. I know she's an Aquarius, but sometimes Aquarius is act very much like Leo's because they're the opposite. And um, they have some of the same char characteristics of their um, opposite sun sign, which is Leo. Because like Shakira is doing the same thing. Like you, uh, she did a song, she did a revenge song like about her husband that cheated on her, that you, traded a Rolex for Casio, whatever those like the cheap um, watches are. And then now he's on a Twitch like podcast showing how he's like, he's got sponsorship, sponsorship for, it's just so messy, but I'm living for it. I have to say, I'm like living for it. Anyways, so back to Megan. Let's talk about Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly first, and then we'll get to Shakira and all of that. So basically what happened was, we don't know what happened, but um, there is, um, on Megan Fox's Instagram. So she unfollowed Machine Gun Kelly and she deleted all of their photos together. Then she put a, a, a photo of herself with her hairdresser behind her that says something like, I can smell your dishonest 
I can smell your dishonesty on your breath or something like that. Uh, it's actually a reference to Beyonce's song in regards to Jay-Z cheating on her. And um, so she did that. And then also, not only that, she deleted all their photos together. She unfollowed Machine Gun Kelly and she started following Eminem, which is nuts. Like we all know that Eminem is literally the reason that Machine Gun Kelly went from rap to punk rock. And, and it's kind of hilarious because every time I see these like very, you know, outlandish photos of him, uh, dressed up the way he's been dressing lately and stuff like that is people are making fun of him saying this is what happens when you f with eminem because like he was a rapper and stuff right and then he had to like go he had to change an entire genre even though he has followers and stuff like that but like people were kind of making fun of him like wow you went from this genre of like rap and tough and like gangster to like wearing pink hair and pink suit and diamonds on your face like in a way it's kind of embarrassing but anyway so that's that's like tiktok people are savage on tiktok like they don't give two f's like they go after anybody you know what i mean so anyway so that happened and then machine gun kelly has also deleted a lot of their photos but he is still following megan but she's not following him and she's deleted every single photo now they're engaged and he got her a really beautiful engagement ring which i love because that's always been something that i've always wanted in an engagement ring i've always wanted two stones that look different because i'm bipolar i'm indecisive <laughs> and i i'm always like i can't just decide you know if i like a pair of shoes i buy the same pair of shoes or the jacket or the dress in different colors because it's like if i like something then i want to have it in different colors so it's like her engagement ring is this beautiful like emerald tear shape i think with like a solitaire like a diamond and i think it's so beautiful like her ring is literally so beautiful he's very artistic and i do like him and i don't know what's happened obviously because everyone's like ellie can you do a reading on it by the way if you guys don't know i'm a psychic medium yes i'm a manifestation coach and we're going to talk about that a little bit in this video too because you can manifest your man cheating on you we're going to talk about the psychological stuff all that stuff we're going to talk about the biological the psychological we're going to talk about all that stuff but i feel like i don't need to do a reading on this by the way if you guys do need readings and coaching go to elliot.com to book a session i don't think i said that in the beginning of the video and the makeup and the skincare you go to elliot.com so so that's what's going on everyone's freaking out now there's also all the stuff that's coming out about you know shakira and her husband let's first talk about the psychology of it all so every time i would see like little clips of um megan fox and machine gun kelly she seems so insecure and i don't know why because she's so beautiful and she's gone she's gotten a lot of work done her face looks different her lips her nose she has tons of hair she doesn't have any hair like in real life and she looks smoky hot and and i know she's older than machine gun kelly i don't know how old, how much older she is but she's older but she works out she looks literally the same as she did you know when she was like in transformers she's like tiny super petite beautiful dresses just love her style i, I really like megan fox i think she's just stunning and beautiful and it's like how could you cheat on Megan Fox like it just I, but we'll get into we'll get to that but she always like spiritually speaking and psychologically speaking what I pick up from her that she's always she comes across insecure now I don't know why she's insecure because this guy kind of wasn't as famous as she was and I know she was blacklisted and they're kind of both coming up together again in a way like he had to kind of reinvent himself and I guess she's reinventing herself through him or something i don't know but she seems really like devoted and you know just like all about him now the other thing that i'm noticing about her is that she puts him on a pedestal you never ever ever want to do that with a man they already have an ego that's the size of a bus so you don't need to flatter it anymore they already have issues okay 
and she totally just keeps putting him on a pedestal like the way she talks about him about his height i think she has a thing about that she's short and next to him because he's like seven feet tall or something like that i don't know and the way she talks about him like oh my god he has like the most perfect body like you know he's like the man of my dreams and stuff also we have to talk about the karma part of this which like she cheated on her husband and uh, abandoned her kids <laughs> to get with machine gun kelly <laughs> it's like anytime you do something um karmically speaking it's gonna come back if you don't know how to use law of assumption and how to use manifestation in your life and you're just going and doing things and you're not careful with your thought process and with your actions it's gonna come back to bite you so but if you learn about law of assumption you can get away with karma's backlash that's for another video let me know if you guys want to learn about that how to avoid karma that's a video in itself bitch that's a video in itself and she basically is just uh she's she was putting him on a pedestal totally giving in to um putting his you know career i think well no she did she's doing movies and stuff like that too but just like very a devoted like girlfriend just with him all the time going to his shows and stuff like that always there singing his dumb songs i'm sorry i just i don't get his music you guys i'm sorry if anybody is a fan good for you i i don't get it i, I don't i don't get i don't get his music um i like really weird like gothic like dark music and stuff like that so i just I'm not that kind of a person to be singing and dancing to someone that looks like MJ, K, MJ, K, whatever his name is, and his music just, I just, I don't get it. Um, but to each his own, you know what I mean? I feel that she has put him on a pedestal. There's something in her that's projecting that he's better than her. There's moments that you see that or the way she talks about him. She's very supportive, very loving, very kind. You know, what a lot of people kind of would make fun of him and stuff like that because he had to change that genre of um, from a rap music to like pop music and stuff like that. She's very, very supportive. The way she speaks of, the way she speaks about him is very flattering. He's also on the red carpet, seems very attentive, very loving, very, very kind. Like, you know, and he, has a daughter and i think he has i don't know like a i think he knows how to treat like his girlfriends and stuff like that i don't know i don't know i don't know exactly what's, what has happened but something bad has happened obviously for all of this to be taking place and i'm assuming he cheated it's you don't have to be a, you don't have to be a psychic medium to figure that out yeah uh, it's it's already kind of like ugh, he probably cheated on her now so that's a psychological side of it where i feel like maybe there is something in her there's something that's going on in her that is feeding into this insecurity and maybe she manifested that i want to talk about that a little bit because sometimes when you are with someone that you really are attracted to and you really love and you just naturally speaking it's like human nature you would i don't know uh feel insecure about them like cheating on you leaving you I don't know something like that I think it's like a maybe a conscious or subconscious thing that you'll be like oh my god are they gonna cheat on me are they gonna find somebody better and this is Megan Fox you guys like she's gorgeous she's famous she's a celebrity and it's like most men would die to be even next to her let alone have sex with her and this guy is engaged to her and they talk about how their sex life is like what would shame lucifer like lucifer she said something like that in one of the magazines like our sex life would make lucifer blush or something like that like that this their sex life is so like crazy or intense or whatever wild basically i guess that's the word it's so wild that lucifer would blush and that they drink each other's blood okay uh <laughs> so we have that going on as well. I think that there must have been an element of her feeling insecure about him because I just feel that. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. I just feel that with her. I just feel like there's something um, that makes her uncomfortable or makes her feel like, I don't know. She's, I do pick up, I do pick that up from her. She has, she comes across really insecure and I don't even know why. She's literally dropped dead gorgeous anyways so this whole thing happened and now we don't really know i'm sure it's gonna come out now let's talk about shakira and her husband shakira 
uh, apparently I, I I'm sure you guys know this but I just like literally saw it as I was you know since I was like looking at um, MJK and Megan Fox I saw little videos of um, Shakira <laughs> Shakira and her husband on TikTok and everyone's talking about that too and basically um Shakira wrote it it's like a revenge song and she's talking shit about her husband you know trading her like you know getting like trading a Rolex for a Casio and this cheap watch or whatever that's like in Europe like I guess everybody knows what what kind of watch it is I don't know it's Casio or whatever I guess it's a cheap watch and yeah and he went on a twitch show saying that he's now like a you know they're sponsoring him <laughs> it's so fucked up it really is so messed up you guys so messed up i don't think i'm gonna do fake eyelashes today because i just don't feel like it but um so anyways that's going on and then basically shakira lives um where her balcony is like where her house is the next door is her in-laws now i saw something really disturbing on tiktok this morning when i was watching these little clips of people talking about this whole thing is that there's a clip that's going viral right now that shakira and her husband are at some event at a party or a funeral i don't know where the fuck they are but they're somewhere and shakira is tiny you guys she's like maybe five feet tall she's super super tiny um and her mother-in-law her husband's mother now her husband's a soccer player and he's pretty tall now his mom is a lot taller than her she's she seems to be like five seven or five six or five seven or something like that and um so there's this clip that's going viral right now about um that you see in the video so shakira's mom shakira's mother-in-law steps forward grabs Shakira's face kind of aggressively and then says shh stop talking like very aggressively very disrespectfully and very aggressively yeah and that the, the 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 energy that's coming to me is this is aggressive as fuck if anybody touched me like that I tried to shush me like that I literally would just put a spell on you and freaking kill you like I can't even imagine and she's just standing there she's tiny so this woman is absolutely towering over her because she's taller than her and she's she's by the way Shakira is putting her jacket on and so when she's doing that when the mother-in-law is doing that she's already kind of like in an awkward situation because she's trying to put her jacket on and you guys it's really it was really I didn't like what I saw now it, I don't care if he cheated what he did and stuff don't touch don't that's disrespectful man that's like this is the this is the mother of your you know grandchildren like don't treat her like that this is fucking shakira dude so anyway so this whole thing's happening and basically shakira's husband um got with an employee uh that's 25 years old she's young and very pretty i mean shakira is very beautiful and famous and loved by everyone um so but that brings us to the other discussion where men usually don't like powerful successful women this is biological that's why i said i'm going to talk about the psychology and then we're going to talk about the biology aspect of it is this a surprise that shakira's husband wants to get with some younger girl that's a nobody didn't we just experience that with Gwen Stefani's husband, Gavin. It, look at Madonna, look at these people. Like most men, now I'm not saying that you can't find someone that's gonna marry you and accept that part of you. I mean, what's her face? Uh, Gwen Stefani found Blake Sheldon, right? So he's accepting of it and he likes it, but some men can't handle that. That a woman is doing better than you, makes more money than you, is more famous than you. That always happens between Hollywood couples because they can't handle it, you guys. Literally, they cannot handle it. Shakira's husband would get with a 25 year old that's just an employee and a nobody. No, it's not a surprise. Gavin did the same thing with Gwen Stefani. Um, he was having a full on affair for years with their babysitter that Gwen Stefani almost adopted. She was younger and she let her dress like her. She had full access 
blah 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 like it's just pretty it's pretty it's pretty crazy you know what i mean um but this happens all the time why because sometimes men first of all men always want to get with someone that's younger because again it's like a biological thing now even though shakira's husband already is married and has two kids biologically speaking it's like when they get with somebody younger it's almost like they're trying to stop time and they want to feel younger that's basically what it is you guys basically what it is is that they want to look they want to feel younger so when you're with someone that's younger than you in a relationship um it's it's an energy thing and you know i'm not gonna lie shakira is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous an amazing body but she does look a little bit you know haggled <laughs> compared to this girl this girl that her husband is with is absolutely stunning she's only 25 years old she doesn't have to wear any makeup and she's stunning that's 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 basically the thing so um i think basically he he's having a midlife crisis obviously um shakira's husband or ex-husband I'm um, having it. Oh, did I tell you guys the other thing that she's here is doing this like hilarious? She has this giant like witch, like Halloween, like statue on her balcony towards like it's facing her in-laws house, which is like right next to her. And she's blasting this music. That's basically she's singing about her husband, you know, trading a Rolex for a Casio watch. And, um, so then they know that she's thinking about their son. I'm gonna go with my gloss willow. I think this is gonna be really beautiful and soft. Um, so anyways, that's what's going on. But yeah, so men do that because they're dumb and it's a biological thing. It's a psychological thing. And it just, it is what it is. Now, at this day and age, do we think it's possible for a man to be faithful? and stay with one person forever. My parents have had the most tumultuous relationship ever. My dad cheated on my mom left and right when they were younger. And, but my dad is obsessed with my mom and he would never leave her for somebody else. I, he cheated on her, which sucks and everything, but he would have never like left her. And honestly, they, my dad right now, you know, when my mom has been sick and stuff like that, like my dad is just like, like the, the way my dad loves my mom, it's like intense. It's really crazy. So that's really rare to find, you know, and my parents are, by the way, twin flames too. So first of all, the twin flame journey is a difficult journey. Um, you are going to activate each other and bring stuff out in each other that normal couples don't do that is the whole point of getting with your twin flame it activates you it brings you uh, a spiritual awakening and you just go through a lot of stuff and it's it's good for your spiritual growth and because megan fox is such like a spiritual person and i do believe she's psychic and very telepathic and picks up on energy because as a medium as a psychic medium i can see that in her she's very witchy She's very like smart and there's something like very electrifying about her, very magnetic about her and and, um, and she knows that. Uh, so I just think that, you know, she, she probably knows that this relationship is important in her life at this time. It's, it's, it's activating something in her. And I know this is gonna be almost like good for her because she kind of started taking herself and putting herself and her needs on the back burner for him. You can totally see it. Their dynamic together is very like, she's all about him and stuff. And I think it's unhealthy. Anytime you're in a relationship, if one person is more into you than you are into them, it's not gonna last because the way you put them on a pedestal and it's an energy thing, it has to be equal. It has to be reciprocated. The way you love them, they have to love you the same. You can't love them more than they love you. If you have a fear of them cheating and abandoning you and if they don't feel that way about you then it's going to create this kind of like a discrepancy and this imbalance does that make sense you guys so i really saw this coming and i think and i talked about that i don't think that they were going to last um and it's just one of those things where she needed to learn this lesson he needs to learn this lesson and it's literally insane that these men cheat on women like selena shakira 
Megan, uh, Gwen Stefani. It's just literally insane. But it, I, but I think it's really also important for all of us to realize that no one is safe. Uh, I forgot to put highlighter on. Um, if, if a guy is a type of guy that has no loyalty and he's not a type of guy that's committed, um, he, if he gets an opportunity, he's going to cheat on you. What can you do about it? There's not much you can do about it. That basically shows their character. It has nothing to do with you. I just want basically in closing, what I want to tell you guys is it has nothing to do nothing to do with you obviously selena gomez is gorgeous obviously gwen stefani is gorgeous obviously shakira is gorgeous obviously megan fox is gorgeous they're talented they're gorgeous they're celebrities they're famous and their men still cheated on them so it's not them it's it's not that they're lacking in anything really it's that it's the men that are doing it. It's biological, it's spiritual. Also the manifestation part of this is like, I, I don't know if I've touched on that, but that's for another video really, but manifestation, that's how it works. If you're thinking about something, if you're worrying about your spouse, your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whomever that's gonna cheat on you, or you feel inadequate in the relationship, or you get jealous and stuff like that, you are going to manifest that. Because whatever your thought process is, most of the time throughout the day, that is what the output is going to be. It's going to match the reality you're in. It's going to match to your thought process. That's how manifestation works. If you guys need my help, eliarkit.com for reading and coaching sessions. I can, literally can change your life around. If you guys need it, I'm expensive, but I'm worth it. Also, I've created uh, a three email reading uh, sessions where one question is 150, two questions is 250, three questions is 350. So you book it, you pay for it, and then you send me your one question or two question or three question, whatever that you guys paid for. And then I do a reading on it and I send you an email of what I see. Obviously, I'd much rather you guys come to do the 30 minute or the 60 minute, but it's a little expensive. If you guys can't afford that, you can do the email reading with me. If you guys are interested in the makeup I just showed you guys, you can go to lyrkishop.com. Everything is vegan, organic cruelty free it's gonna make you look flawless it's really beautiful it's buildable my lip gloss collection is literally to die for this is willow so elliearchetshop.com go get it and i will see you guys for another video and i hope you guys enjoyed this coffee morning vlog love you guys so much please subscribe share and like if you guys like content like this and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye